Oh, Samisioni, more Samisioni. Mighty things you do, glorious things. You're a faithful God. Oh, Samisioni, Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah Jireh, you are the most high. Jehovah Rohi, you are the most high God. Elohim, you are the most high. He of the valley, you are the most high God. Jehovah, the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Everlasting, you are the most high. King of kings, you are the most high. Lion of Judah, you are the most high. Lily of the valley, you are the most high. El Shaddai. You are the most high, Elohim. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high, Jehovah. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are. The most high, G O G O V A. You are the most high God, G O V A. You are the most high, G O V A. You are the most high God, G O V A. You are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Elohim, you are the most high God. Adonai, you are the most high. Lily of the valley, you are the most high God. Good evening, welcome to Amazing Foundation Ministries International. We give God all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration for what He has done, for what He is doing, what He's going to do in our lives. You know, it's just um one more week, and uh, technically, um, as the youth children normally say, technically, the year, the month rather. Of January has, uh, you know, rolled. Well, shall I say it's just kind of uh, getting disconnected from from our uh, the number of months that we are counting. It's only grace of God. It's only His mercy that I knew every morning. It's only because God has been faithful. God has been merciful. God has been a very present help in trouble. 
left to the enemies they are telling you they don't want us to be alive but god is faithful god is mighty god is powerful god is glorious lord i praise you tonight come on let's just praise him let's just appreciate him i praise you i worship you i adore you thank him for answered prayers thank him for how he washes us in his precious blood thank him for how he gives us understanding thank him for how we make sure that the enemy don't rub off of, of our blessing by speaking to us yes thank him that for the grace to actually hear him yes to the, because he speaks to us it makes us to understand what he wants and what he doesn't want let's just give him praises give him glory give him all the honor that he still reigns he reigns he reigns he reigns he's an awesome god he rules in the affairs of men that's what the bible says that the Lord, he rules the affairs of men Thank you, Jesus. He's the one that is ruling. He's the one that is reigning. If not, where would we be? Let's just honor him. Let's just tell him you are mighty. You are great. Yes, you are. Holy one. Oh, you walked upon the seas. Raised the dead. You are in majesty. Mighty God. Everything written about you is great. Everything written about you in our lives is great. Father, we thank you. Thank you for unseen battles that you keep fighting and winning for us. Thank you so much when the enemy comes in like a mighty Russian one. Thank you for raising your standard against them. Thank you for showing them that you are God from the beginning to the end and you do not fail. You do not change. Thank you, Jesus. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth. Hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the Glory, great things he had done. That's why we come to you to, tonight, Lord, to give you all the glory, to give you all the honor, to give you all the adoration, especially for unseen battles that you are fighting and you are winning for us. Times when our souls are weary and when or times when we feel bad, when we feel down, thinking that oh, it's the situations around us that's making us to feel so bad. No knowing that is the enemy that is actually programming all those things. The real thing is happening in the spirit realm. But thank you so much. Thank you for fighting for us. Thank you because you have already said to us that you never leave nor forsake us. Thank you because you are a God that always keeps to your promises. Your promises are here and amen. Concerning our lives, concerning our homes. So we bless your name. So we bless your name, precious Jesus. I remember all you've done for me. Your powerful sacrifice on victory. I remember all you've done for me. Oh my God, I worship you today. I worship you today. Lord, I worship you. We worship you today. Father, we worship. We worship you. Today, precious Jesus, we thank you for your blood. Precious Jesus, we thank you for your body. Broken for us, precious Jesus. Oh, yes, precious Jesus. 
with us. We thank you for your blood, precious Jesus. We thank you for your body broken for us. We remember, we remember what you've done for us. Your perfect sacrifice and victory. We remember all you've done for us. Oh, our God, we worship you today. Lord, we worship you. We worship you today. I remember, I remember all you've done for me. Your perfect sacrifice and victory. I remember all you've done for me. Oh my God, I worship you today. I worship you today. Lord, I worship you now. I worship you. Today, Lord, we worship you. We worship you today. Lord, we worship you. We worship you today. Father, we worship you. We worship you today. You know, our God has been faithful. He has not, if you if should look at our behavior, I don't even know who will be alive among us. I don't even know who will be alive. But His grace has been sufficient for us and is continually sufficient for us and our families. That's why we are here. And that's why we bless your name, Jesus. We say, be thou exalted, be thou glorified, be thou magnified in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Yeah. And Father, we pray that grace, 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 supernatural grace, super abundant grace, Lord Jesus, to be able to worship you all days of our lives. May you grant us and our children in, in the name of Jesus Christ the grace to look out for you, to do your will, to always want you because you are doing so many things that are beyond our understanding. The grace to wait upon you, to want you, to want to know more about you, to want to know more how to get closer to you more, how to be yours for us and our families. Father, may you grant us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Good evening. Again, welcome. We appreciate God for your lives, for all that He is doing, for all that we are going to He's going to do. Um, it's always wonderful. We are going to read Psalm 84, the book of Psalm 84, the book of Psalms, Psalm 84. Psalm 84 says, How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts, my soul longeth here, even fainted for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out for the living God. Yeah, the sparrow hath found an house, and the swallow, the swallow, a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thine house, they will still be praising thee. It's only because God makes us to dwell in his house and also, not just that he makes us to dwell in his house for fun, he says, we will still be praising him. And that's why we are still alive to praise him. It's not because of how good we are. Blessed be to the name of our Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Verse 5 says, Blessed is the man whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the ways of them. So there are two types of strength. There's God's strength, there's man's strength. But which strength do we have? That's the question. Because God is saying, Blessed is the man whose strength is in you. To to go through to you know to, to, to do things, to, to go through the day, you know, to be able to even uh, do everything that's on that agenda of ours. I'm telling you, it can only be God's strength. But if God's strength is not in us, you will see that we are not able to achieve much because we haven't got strength. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart as the, are the ways of them. Verse 6 says, who passing through the valley of Baker make it a well, 
The rain also filled it with pods. It goes from strength to strength. Every one of us in Zion appeared before God. And verse 8 now says, O Lord of hosts, hear my prayer and give here. O God of Jacob, we know that the Lord is going to hear our prayers as we pray tonight. He will give here to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. That also makes us to understand that there are times when it feels like God is not listening. And there are times actually when he's not there. You know, it's like he, he just he just put, uh, he looked away or he just um, put his eyes away. You know, there, there, there are times when it feels like it's a closed heaven. But it's only grace and mercy of God that can help every one of us. I pray the Lord will not close his ears towards us, towards our lives in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And that shouldn't be misinterpreted with the scriptures where it says that the, the, hands, the hands of God, they are not too, too short that we cannot save. Yeah, If you look at it very well, people might say, oh, but, but how come it's not answering me? But then if you if you read it further, it says, but our sins, you know, there are things like that, you know, sins in our generations, what some things can be a hindrance, you know, and then and then you can imagine that if it's already a hindrance and we are not even aware of it and we are born into such family or, you know, or, or into such situation, unless we seek the face of God and ask him for mercy upon mercy and, and grace with the blood of Jesus on us, uh, how would we, you know, it, it, there are some generations that are already cursed, you know, they are already cursed, not just cursed by uh, people. I'm talking about cursed by God. You know, there are some generations like that. How would I? How did I know? It's right there in the scriptures. Right there in the. In fact, every generation self, every generation. If we are going to be literal, every generation is under curse. It's only God that is redeeming us. If not because of the redeeming blood of Jesus Christ, where would we all be? Adam and Eve ate the apple. Curse. Cain. Killed Abel, curse. You know, I was, I was, I was tracing this genealogy of mankind. You know, I was tracing it back to, back to the beginning, and I began to see that oh my days, the whole earth is under curse. It's, if not for grace and mercy, seriously speaking. So if we start from the beginning, the, the starting point, if we start from the Adam, <laughs> Eve, yeah, Cain. <laughs> again, what about the children that Cain gave birth to after killing Abel? Even, uh, I think it's Lamech or, or Lam I can't remember, Lam Lamech or Lam Lamech, I can't remember that one too. He said, in fact, that if, if the sin of uh, Cain is going to be asked for, that his own should be seriously uh, more, than, more than Cain. Yet, all this and God's mercy, God's grace. It's still sufficient. God keeps calling us. So there are times when there are those curses. But even with that, let me tell you, Christ did not come so that we can be condemned. That's what the Bible says, that he did not come to the earth so that the earth can be uh, uh, condemned. He, he came to the world so that through him, the, 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 the world may receive forgiveness. And so that is why we really want to say thank you, Jesus, because we have a God that we can come to. And that's why our strength is in you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we know that as we are gathered together tonight, according to that verse 8, that you are going to hear our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ because you are the only one we can pray to. Even if it feels like a closed heaven, just call upon him. He will still have mercy. He will have mercy. He will have mercy. His mercy is sufficient. We just need to understand and ask him. You see, and there was a servant of God that was preached. That was preaching. No, actually, he was telling a story of what happened to his servant of another servant of God. You know, when um um because of what had happened in his generation, all the bad things that they had done in his generation, and then the this other person, God called him to be a pastor. And then he said, God called him to be a pastor. And then he was like, Why are things going wrong like this? He said to avenge him of what when his other for a generation when they were pastors. What they were doing to people so it's like to, 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 that calling but then it's for the punishment i was i was like lord father i may not have understood this i, I mean i may not have explained the story very well so you may not be able to you may not get the exact thing but the main point that i'm bringing out there is that god says that the sins of fathers from i mean the sins of generation rather from the first up to the tenth is constantly it's constantly being requested for. But then we have God. We have God. You see, His mercy and grace is still sufficient to whatever the case is. Just hold on to God and say, God, I know your mercy is that your mercies are new every morning. 
because you and then you tell god that look your word says that whosoever whosoever comes to you you will in no wise reject you see those are scriptures that we can use to hold on to god and say lord here i come my family might have done this this dance but you said you will not reject please have mercy just imagine now the family of eli the family of eli do you know that it's not just eli eli thought okay it's only him eli thought eli took it really lightly he thought okay it's just normal thing you know let's you know if 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 if, if my children don't you know god said he would do this 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 and that it's all right it's god let him just do anything he likes job he didn't understand if you understood it deeply what god was saying he probably would have, wouldn't have done what he did now look he's gone he's gone the children are gone but all the families of eli suffered that even if it's the young the youngest person in eli's family they still had to suffer because it's a curse from god it's a curse from god and i remember there was another servant of god that um another story was told another servant of god that said ah um uh uh yeah i think if i remember that story very well that okay this is the curse this is what your generation did and everything this is it and god saying well um it's already it, it, there is a curse placed on the family you know because of what they did you know in the things in relation to the things of god do you know what the servant of god did <laughs> the pastor said the servant of god just went in the presence of god and said okay thank you jesus lord thank you i still want to say thank you to you because you are god you judge you are a righteous judge you are god you know but i know one thing that your mercy can speak in the place of judgment you know and i'm, I'm telling you our god is always merciful he will hear us because if we say that then where do we want to categorize david jerry <laughs> Where do you want to cast? Go right, David. And that's why at any point in time, whatever the case may be, we should not give up. We should just be in the presence of God and tell him, yes, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house. I'd rather be, a, in fact, this is, this is the next verse. The next uh, two verses that we are going to read. Verse 8. It says, Oh Lord, oh God of us, hear my prayer and give a, oh God of Jacob. Verse 9. Behold, that's Psalm 84. Behold, uh, uh, oh God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. Verse 10 says, For a day in thy courts is better, is better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God. So this person has made this um David has made up his mind that whatever the case may be, well, I'd rather keep the doors. I'd rather be a gate man in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. So which means though he slay me there's a scripture that says though he slay me i will trust in him though he slay me i will trust in him so if you are somebody that you're out there you're thinking that is in the book of job chapter 13 verse 15 that scriptures job 13 verse 15 that says though he slay me yet will i trust in him but i will maintain my own ways before him so if you feel like oh it looks like um the, even this seems to be like a um a chastisement from god because of what is going on in our generation you know or because of what people have done or because of this and that trust in him the bible says that trust in him at all times pour out your heart before him don't give up don't lose hope still hold on to him his mercies are new every morning you know his mercies are new every morning his favor his, his power his strength will still be sufficient for us and our, our and our household in the name of jesus christ so on that note we want to say thank you jesus because we have a god that we can turn to a god that we can turn to i'd rather have jesus than anything i'd rather be faithful to the riches untold i'd rather have jesus than silver and gold Yes, I'd rather be led by His power divine than to be the king of a vast domain or be held in sin dress way. I'd rather Jesus than anything. 
This world affords today. It's better to make up our mind to say, well, I'd rather have Jesus. Especially when I mean, the way things are going right now, it's better for us to make up our mind. Though he slay us, even if you feel like it. Okay? Even if you check your generation and you feel like, ah, they've done something wrong. I'm telling you, children of God, still trust in the Lord. Let's trust in Him. Let's pour out our heart to Him. He will not always chide. That's what the Bible says. He will not always chide. He does not keep His anger forever. He's a merciful God. You know, and it's on that note that we should trust in Him and put, and put our hope in Him that He will not forsake us and our household in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who that message is for, you know, but I'm sure as you listen, God Himself will turn things around for your life in your life and your family in the name of jesus christ god himself he will turn things around he will change your situation for, for the better in fact for the best beyond your understanding as you trust in him in the name of jesus christ and then verse, verse um 11 and 12 now says for the lord god is a son and shield the lord will give grace and glory no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly oh lord of hosts blessed is the man that trusted in him in thee yes it's true blessed are those who trust in you blessed are those whose ways are in you and that's why we want to appreciate you because you are you are holy Oh, so holy, you are holy, oh, so holy, what a privilege and an honor to worship at your feet, to be called into your presence, at your throne, that's your own, you are holy. Oh, so holy, you are holy, oh, so holy, what a privilege and an honor to worship at your feet, to be called into your presence as your own, you are faithful. Oh, so faithful, you are faithful, oh, so faithful, what a privilege and an honor to worship at your feet, to be called into your presence at your own. You are not, you are mighty. Oh, so mighty. You are mighty, Lord. You are mighty. Oh, so mighty. What a privilege. What a privilege. And an honor to worship at your feet. To be called into your presence. At your own, you are worthy, oh, so worthy, you are worthy, oh, so worthy, what a privilege and an honor to worship at your feet, to be called into your presence. At your own, may our praises and worship be acceptable in the sight of our Maker, our Lord Jesus Christ. The glorious in holiness, the fearful in praises, the God, the God that doeth wonders beyond our understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, and may He give us continual strength, grace, supernatural grace and mercy to trust in Him at all times, to pour out our heart before Him, to know that He does not always chide. And to know that he's always ready to set us free. He's always ready to make a way for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the grace to obey him, to do his will. May the Lord continually gra grant each and every one of us and our children in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, in Jesus' mighty name we worship. Amen. Amen. Let's tell God to have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Then we are going to listen to... Um,
uh, uh, preaching. Have mercy, Lord. Let's tell God, have mercy, Lord. Because we know that we have a God that answers by fire. Because we know that we have a Father that is merciful, that is gracious. Let's tell him, Lord Jesus, forgive us. Have mercy on us and our children. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive our trespasses, oh God. Forgive us our trespasses and cleanse us with your blood. Make us so by the power in your blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord Jesus Christ. Because why should he didn't say that? Where is our God? Behold, our God is in heaven. He has he's, he keeps doing what he likes because you are God. And we know that you always mean good for us. You always mean well for us. So that's why we say, Father, in every way that we have come short of your glory, Lord Jesus, forgive us and our children. Forgive us and our children. In the name of Jesus, cleanse us with your blood. The blood is the forgiveness is not complete without the blood of Jesus. Father, forgive us. Cleanse us with your blood. Cleanse our children. Cleanse husband. Cleanse wives. Cleanse our home. In the name of Jesus Christ, forgive us our trespasses. Make us by find your blood. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, change our heart. Change our heart, oh God. Change our heart. Change our heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Change our heart by your, with your blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, remove every debris, anything and everything that does not glorify you from us and our children in the name of Jesus Christ. And every judge that judgment that is against us and our children, Father, let your mercy, let your mercy and grace cancel this judgment in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your mercy and grace cancel it. Cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your blood cancel this judgment from our lives, so God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, let your blood, let your blood, your sprinkling blood that speak better things than that of Abel. Wash your clean, wash our children clean. In the name of Jesus Christ, wash your clean, wash our children clean. In the name of Jesus, cleanse our homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, anything and everything that's in our hearts that's against your your glory that does, that does not want to see your glory that does not want us to see your full manifestation cleanse our heart oh god let your fire let your fire or put anything and everything that does not give you room that does not give you space in our homes in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Christ. anything and everything that does not give you room that does not give you chance that does not give you space that is contending with your glory that, that is contending with you in our lives let the blood of jesus christ wash them of forgive us forgive our generation cleanse us from every form of any iniquity in the name of jesus christ any iniquity in our life any transgression every generation occurs that is what that is working against us and our children in the name of jesus christ father let your blood wash us clean wash us clean wash us clean because nothing yes nothing but your blood can wash us father lord jesus christ cleanse us make us by the your blood in the name of jesus christ father send 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 your fire send your fire into our body our soul our spirit purge our heart purge our heart Purge our heart in the name of Jesus with the blood of Jesus. Purge our heart. We are our children. Purge our heart, oh God. Purge our heart, oh God. We are our children. And make also by pain your blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Purge our heart, oh God. Purge our heart. Purge our heart. Cleanse us. Make us soul. Purge our heart. Purge our children's heart. In the name of Jesus. Remove every debris from our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every, every attack, every defilement in our bodies, our souls, and spirit that make us unworthy for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your blood, let your blood, your, your sprinkling blood, wash us clean, wash us clean. Make us by pouring your blood in the name of Jesus. Oh, precious is the blood that makes me white as snow. No other found i know nothing but the blood of jesus may god hear us even as we call unto him to have mercy on us and to wash us clean in jesus name Amen. we are going to listen to the word of god and i pray that you be blessed even as you listen in jesus name amen good evening and welcome to amazing foundation ministries international kids corner my name is Testimony, and today I will be preaching about Be careful of what you request. Think before you request. The same thing as think before you speak. And the passage I'll be reading is in Mark 10, verses 35 to 45. It's talking about the request of James and John. It's like when people think... It's like people saying, be careful of what you wish for. Or people saying, think before you speak. 
Like when you're angry, words come out of your mouth that you don't even mean to say. That so you should think before you speak. That's the same thing. You think before you request for something, because you might be requesting for something that is unable to be like given to you. So let's read Mark ten verses thirty-five to forty-five. It says, "Then James and John, the son of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, 'We want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you?' He asked. They replied, 'Let us one of us sit at your right and the other in, at your left in the glory.' You don't know what you are asking," Jesus said. "Can you drink the cup I drink from?" Or、uh, be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. We can," they answered. Je- Jesus said to them, "You will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. But to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to whom they have been prepared." When the ten heard about this, they became ig. Indignant, indignant with James and John. Jesus called them and together and said, "You know that the, those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you." Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. If even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many, did Jesus not come to serve? Yeah, he did. He came to serve us, because why would he just come to the earth? It would be like just to do miracles. But he he sacrificed. God sacrificed his son because the song says, "I'm the guilty one, but he sacrificed his son, the one and only." Lost on you for your blameless. I'm holy. It's saying that before, because we were always guilty of sin. No one's perfect. The poor, probably the only time people were perfect was when Adam and Eve were there. Because, Ad, but when they sinned, was the time when sin was entered into the world. This is talking about that God sent His only Son, but dying for us sounds like an ordinary thing nowadays because we know about Jesus. Since then, we probably heard that story many times. But isn't that coming to serve us? Because somebody could have easily been a mortal one. God could have just sent a, an ordinary human being and made him rise again from the dead and do every single thing that Jesus did. But instead, God has sent His one and only Son. He could have sent one of us to do that. He could have done something instead of sending His only Son. But He did it anyway, because. He loves us. He cares for us. He doesn't want to just make a human being do that, because that, that, because the human being probably wouldn't even know what to say or what to do. The human being probably, the human being probably would have been tempted by the devil. But if Jesus, since God sent Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ knew what to do. He knew what to do because when he was up in heaven, he already knew the past, present, and future. So he w- he would have already known that he would have risen up from the dead. He wouldn't be like, oh, but what if he could have been complaining to God? But what if I don't rise up from the dead? Well, it's and Jesus rose up from the dead in three days, and this is a f- a fact that I found out in the Bible. In the Bible, it says in Genesis. I'm not not in Genesis. Mark chapter, Mark chapter fifteen, verse 
So, Mark chapter um, 15, verses 25 says, It was nine in the morning when they crucified him. And verse 33, Verse 33, it says, At noon, darkness came over the whole world until three in the afternoon. And at three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So Jesus died at three o'clock and was crucified at nine o'clock. So nine o'clock to three o'clock is about, so nine o'clock, so, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 13 o'clock, 14 o'clock, 15 o'clock. He was there on the, on the cross for six hours without dying. Then he died. But, but that, even though he was on the cross for six hours and he died, he still rose again. Even though he was dead for three days. Like Lazarus, even though Lazarus was dead for four days, he rose up from the dead. It was like um, it was like like an uh, a short explanation of what will happen in the future. There was a short explanation that, apart from the fact that Lazarus was dead for four days, but Jesus was dead for three days, it was short an explanation because they both rose up from the dead. They both rose up from the dead. May God help us to believe in him Amen. and that uh, may God help us to discover more facts that many people don't know about Amen. and may God help us to understand that which question that we are able to ask you without with, without like without it being un, un, unable to be given to us in Jesus name May God help us to do everything that He ple pleases, so so that we can, so that our work will not burn up in the fire when we get to heaven. In Jesus' name, Amen. may we be on the first flight to heaven and not the second flight. In Jesus' name, Amen. because God has, Jesus has already paid His blood to forgive forgive us and to give us life eternal life in heaven we do not want to use our own blood to pay because that's basically just a waste of time because god sent jesus to be crucified for us so we don't have to pay with our own blood so lord forgive us wash us with your blood cleanse us with your blood make us all by power in your body in jesus name Amen. lord jesus Christ, your abundance of natural grace and mercy is sufficient for us and our household in jesus name Amen. wash us cleanse us make us all by power in your body in jesus name Amen. may your supernatural grace and mercy be sufficient for us because many people many many people they have they have not been they have not been able to get to heaven because they forgot to ask for grace and mercy. So we're right here today asking you for grace and mercy, Lord. Amen. So we need your grace and mercy to be sufficient for us in abundance. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this preaching. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to Amazing Foundation. This is International Youth Zone. And today I'm going to be talking about the way we talk to others in Christ. I'm sure as children of God, sometimes you get upset at somebody or a specific person or something specific. And I love that sometimes people say bad things. They say negative things that they shouldn't be saying as Christians, but they say it anyway because of the situation they're in. Well, um, that's... Um, that's still a sin and we have to ask God for forgiveness for that as well and also there's another thing which is about um, the fact that whatever God says in the Bible you must go along with it you cannot you cannot change it or coin it into your own way because I saw this one person basically in the Bible it says that we should not curse we should not swear and somebody said that oh it's fine to swear as a Christian as long as you're not aiming it negatively to anybody well, swearing is swearing. Whether or not you have a negative notation to one person or not, swearing is swearing. That's like saying I will swear on my mom's life or parents' life or father's life or sibling's life or cousin's life over something that is um, uh, over a situation that makes no sense. That's like saying that I would randomly, like, like would you randomly curse people? Like, just walk around and be like, oh, you know what? Because of 
uh, because of some nothing, I'm just gonna curse. Yeah, some people are cute, exactly. Yeah. Some people curse constantly, as in excessive swearing. Every single word they say is just swear words. Everything. They're like, oh, blah blah blah, swear word this, swear word that, swear word this, swear, swear word that. They have no other words that they can use. And if you tell them to stop swearing, and if they try, it's really hard for them because they're already addicted to swearing. And as Christians, we're meant to avoid things like that. And we have to open the Bible and understand things and learn things from the full truth. In the Bible, it says abortion is murder. And as Christians, we shouldn't be aborting people. But some people believe that, oh, that only applies to a certain stage of the development of a child. As long as the child is being formed in the stomach, it is still counted as um as murder abortion is murder whether or not you like it or not as they say uh, when you when god says something your opinion no longer becomes valid you can't change god's word to suit your own needs or change god god's word uh, to please other people because there are some other people who um who coin god's word their own way some people say that oh uh, uh you should be uh, neg. Some people are like, "Oh, uh, there's n- there's nothing wrong in supporting other religions." Well, as Christians, we can't support other religions, but we respect the person as themselves, as who they are. Because if we're supporting other religions, what supporting is the same thing as agreeing with something and being on full support of what that thing is on that statement. If you support that all religions, um, if you so- support all religions, that means that you think all religions are a pathway to God which is untrue all religions are path other religions apart from Christianity apart from serving God is a pathway to hellfire quite obviously but um some people think that oh it's right to support them well yes we can help them we can be friends with them we can look after them take care of them but supporting them is a completely different thing that's why as christians we don't support abortion we don't support the lgbt because it goes against our word but does that mean we should then treat people differently no if a transgender person comes up to me i will treat him like any other person but if he starts, I don't know, uh, trying to convince me to become trans or something, then that's when I'd start getting upset and I would be upset. Um, and same thing with other sins as well, like um, abortion. If somebody tries to convince me that abortion is right, then I wouldn't be really happy. But it doesn't mean I'm going to treat them any less of a human. And that's why as people, uh, yeah, there's this another thing there are some christians who believe that gay people shouldn't have rights rights are meant to be for everyone whether or not you're gay or not whether or not you're you're sinning or not rights are something that's meant to go worldwide towards everybody even though gay being gay and the lgbt is a sin doesn't mean that those people should be treated any less of a human treated useless treated like they they shouldn't exist because god can very much change them and god wouldn't be happy that you turn away people who are able to go into his kingdom if you teach them and preach to them imagine imagine um uh going to heaven i mean imagine um on judgment day god is like oh why did you send away this person just because he was gay why was you against him i planned for you to be able to change him oh i planned for you to be able to bring him into our kingdom would you be happy then no of course not that's why as christians we have to treat people the same we should not change the gospel the scriptures to suit any other uh, uh any other person's um, personal matter may god help us in jesus name thank you for listening god bless you god help us to be and to be who god wants us to be and to do what god wants us to do in life in jesus name because that is what makes a difference that is what makes a difference everything we want to do in life is only it's only with god it's god that is the leader of our lives and he's the one that should control everything we think, everything we say. And I pray that the leading of the Holy Spirit will never ever leave us in Jesus' name. Let us tell God, fill me with your Holy Spirit. 
fill me with your Holy Spirit and power in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit and power with fire in the name of Jesus Christ. That will empower us to be able to do God's will. Fill us up. Fill us up like never before in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit and power with fire to be able to do God's will. Fill us up with fire. Fill us up in the name of Jesus. We need the power of the Holy Spirit because all these things that we are saying, without the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, you won't, we won't even be able to know what one one add one. Every we, we won't be able to add one add one together in our brain. We'll be like others who are actually thinking and trying to use their own uh, thinking, their own natural brain to understand things. But the more we are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, the more we are able to understand the scriptures, the more we are able to get closer to God, and the more He will, will, will lighten us, He will give us divine wisdom and understanding, and the more we can tell the world more about Christ. So, Father, fill us with your power, Holy Spirit and power. Fill us with your fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill us up, Lord. Fill us up. Fill us up with your wisdom. Fill us up with your knowledge. Fill us up with your understanding because they are divine in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, Holy Spirit, fill us up like never before. Fill us up. We and our children in the name of Jesus. Lord, fill us up, Lord, Lord Jesus, because it's not by power, it's not by might to be able to understand the scriptures, to be able to do your will, to be able to praise you, to be able to look from um, seek you in everything we do. We cannot do that without your power. Father, fill us, fill us, Lord, fill us up, fill us up, Lord, fill us with your power, power with the fire of the Holy Spirit and comfort on our children in the name of Jesus Christ, power with the fire of the Holy Spirit and God for us and our children, and God for us and our children, for you and you only. Power of the Holy Spirit with fire, and God for us and our children to burn off anything and everything that is in our ways of doing your will, that is in our ways of following after righteousness. Power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, fill us up, fill us up, fill us up, you and our children, in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit and power with fire. In the on high, in the name of Jesus Christ, fill us up, fill us up, fill us up, like never before. In the name of Jesus, we are our children, Holy Spirit and power with fire, fill us up, fill us up. In the name of Jesus, we are our children, fill us up, fill us up. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit and power with fire. Fill us up like never before. Fill us up like never before. In the name of Jesus Christ, fill our children up. Fill us men up. Fill wives up. In the name of Jesus Christ, with your power. Power with fire of the Holy Ghost. Fill us up. In the name of Jesus, so that we'll be able to live our lives for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, so that we'll be able to do what you want us to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit and power with fire. Fill us up and go for us and our children that your name will be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ, to wash off any debris, to wash off anything and everything that does not glorify you. Holy Spirit and power with fire, fill us up, fill us up, fill us up in the name of Jesus to cleanse our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ to make us useful for you because oftentimes the devil wants us to be used, use, use, useless. Father Lord Jesus Christ to make us useful for you to prepare ourselves for you, yes Lord, to give you room in our lives. Holy Spirit, come like fire, fill us up, fill us up to give you room in our lives. Fill us up in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill our children up in the name of Jesus Christ. So that we can give you room. We can give you room in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, there are many times that even as human beings, as, as, as people of God, we want to be able to give you room. But it seems that one thing or the other is standing in the way. Holy Spirit, come like fire. Fill us up. We are our children so that we can give you room in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now let's begin to tell God, Father, Father Lord Jesus, as this month is running to an end, and as this year is beginning to move, Father, I pray there shall be no weeping, there shall be no gnashing of teeth in our homes, but we'll find joy, joy, joy of the Lord. We'll rejoice in the presence of our Master, our Savior, in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of joy and rejoicing. But because the Bible says that the sound of joy and rejoicing is in the tabernacle of the righteous. Father, I pray, sound of joy and rejoicing is in our tabernacle. We are our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Tabernacle does not only mean your home. Tabernacle talks about the heart, your heart, your mind. So we decree and declare tonight the joy of the Lord is our strength. The sound of joy and rejoicing is in our tabernacle in the name of Jesus. It's in our heart, it's in our homes, it's in the heart of our children. Sound of joy and rejoicing is in the it's in our midst, it's in our homes. In the name of Jesus, it's in the body of Christ. The sound of joy and 
and rejoicing in our tabernacle in the name of Jesus Christ because righteous is our God. Yes, Lord, our God's voice is precious to us. So therefore, his sound, his sound where it is written in his presence is fullness of joy and at your at his right hand there are pleasures there. Father Lord Jesus Christ, Spirit, Holy Spirit of joy and rejoicing, fullness of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Fill us up, fill us up, fill us up, fill us up, and our children, fill us up. We are our children in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of joy and rejoicing, fill us up. We are our children in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let's tell God there shall no evil befall us. Let's begin to just pray for protection in the remaining of this January and in the, this year. There shall no evil befall us and our children. Neither shall any pray come near our dwelling in the name of Jesus. For it is written, He shall give His angels charge over us and our children to keep us in all our ways. They shall bear us up in their hands. Let's be that our foot against the stone. So this uh, we decree and declare because the sound of joy and rejoicing is in our tabernacle. So therefore, we are protected, we are hidden. Yes, Lord, because the secret of, the, of God belong to those who fear Him. So therefore, because He gives us grace to, to fear Him, He will give us more secret of how to do His will, how to follow His footsteps, how to follow after righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. And we do His will and we follow God's righteousness in the name of Jesus. And therefore, we are protected. We are hidden in the secret of this most high by His grace and mercy. Grace and mercy, Lord, is sufficient for us so that we are hidden in the secret of your tabernacle from the of the workers of iniquity in the name of Jesus Christ and evil plans and programs that has been projected and programmed against us and our children backfire on the sender in manifold in the name of Jesus Christ we hide we are hidden we are covered with the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus every trap every net that the enemies want to use to be able to get us and our children in the name of Jesus Christ they are disclosed they are disclosed they all these secrets are revealed to us from heaven in the name of Jesus from our God and the solution God reveals to us as well in the name of Jesus Christ, and the joy of the Lord is our strength and that of our children. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let us tell God to bless us abundantly. Make a way for us in the wilderness. Do what no man can do for us. Do wonders beyond our understanding. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we hold on to your word because you said you will bless the righteous. That's what you said, that you will bless the righteous. With favor, shall you encompass him around, about. Father, according to your word, we cling to you because of your mercy, because of your grace, because of the blood of Jesus. I will say, Father, bless us oh God as you have promised bless us make a way for us and our children show us the way direct us lead us guide us in the name of Jesus and bless us because blessing comes with the leading of the Holy Spirit it comes from the leading of the Holy Spirit it comes from guide from, from the Holy Spirit guiding us so father as you as you are we know you are prepared to bless us guide us oh God into all truth lead us direct us give us understanding give us wisdom yes Lord on, to, on how to make ends me or how to do that business in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless us and our children. Bless us and make us fruitful. Multiply us and our children. We are we and our seed. Oh God, help us to spend time with you. Help us to spend our time, our, our finances even for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Knowing fully well, I, I God who is able to bless us beyond our understanding. So bless us, oh God, beyond our understanding. Make us fruitful. We are our children in the land that you have stationed us in the name of Jesus. Multiply us and our children as you have promised in the name of Jesus Christ make way for us in the wilderness we and our children show us the way lead us and right lead us in the right path in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ so that we can be yours and yours forever in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus 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 thank you because you have done it even beyond our understanding we are exalted in Jesus name in Jesus mighty name we pray amen let's begin to Tell God every counsel, every program of the evil ones against us and our children, cancel, be cancelled, be scattered by the fire of the Holy Ghost. For it is written, they shall come to us in one way, they shall run in, in seven ways. Yes, Lord, every program of the evil ones against us and our children, scattered by fire, because we have received mercy and grace from God in the name of Jesus, scattered by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who come against us, they will run in seven ways. Let the angel of the Lord chase them, let their ways be dark and slippery in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
themselves. Let them know that they have hidden. Let them catch themselves into that very destruction. Let them fall in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God shall deliver us from trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. He shall deliver us and our children from the snares of the fowler. Every counsel of the ungodly, every Ahithophel, every Goliath walking against us and our children, every giant against us and our children in the name of Jesus Christ. All the programs against the, uh, that are, they are programming against us, they are destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. They fall by the sword in the name of Jesus Christ. Our enemies shall fall by the sword in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall thunder from heaven and destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, God who has been our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble, we look after to preserve our, our lives. All the orchestration, all their programs against us in the name of Jesus, backfire on them in the name of Jesus, backfire by fire, backfires by fire. Every program of evil ones against us and our children, backfire by fire, backfire so that they will know that you are God for real, that you are you reign, you rule, you reign in the affairs of men in the name of Jesus Christ. Give us victory. In fact, we have already received victory. We claim that victory that's already been given to us from heaven. We claim it now in the name of Jesus. Total victory is our portion. We and our children, total victory because we have made to see with Christ at the right hand of the Father. So therefore, total victory is our portion. We are more than conqueror to him who loves us and has shed his own blood for our soul. We and our children in the name of Jesus Christ. And in our mindset, we have we have victory in our lives, in our homes, among our children. We have victory in the name of Jesus. We all have victory, victory in our finance, now in that business, in that job. We have victory in the name of Jesus. We are victorious. We are victorious. We are more than conquer in the name of Jesus Christ because Christ has won the battle for us and our children. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. And as we go to bed tonight, we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus Christ, and we declare and declare that we shall sleep peacefully and wake up joyfully. And every accusation of evil ones against us and our children, anything programmed into the air, into the sea, into the ground, into the atmosphere against us and our family, in the in actually uh, uh, mother, father, and children. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything is destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. thank you, Jesus. We pray for Jerusalem. Let there be peace, Lord. Let there be peace, Lord. We pray Pray, we pray, we silence every oppression, every war, every riot, everything negative going on in there. Father, we decree and declare, let them be, begin to cancel, let them be silenced right now by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Let there be peace. For you said, we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that it shall prosper, that love it. Father, let there be peace in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for schools as well. Let there be peace in schools. In the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive all the atrocities going on within schools. Yes, all the ones that have gone silent for so long among students, oh God, even among teachers, even among the school, Father, forgive, have mercy, Lord, even concerning the nation, the cases of coronavirus, oh God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, forgive us, oh God, forgive the nations, forgive, oh God, all the atrocities being performed in the underground, Father, please forgive, have mercy, cleanse us with your blood in the name of Jesus, Father, change our heart, change our heart, change our heart, according to the book of Ezekiel, change your of your people bring us to you so that we can come and worship you in the name of Jesus Christ so that we can do your will change the heart of our leaders in the name of Jesus Christ so that they can be yours and yours in Jesus name Father have mercy have mercy Lord have mercy Lord and therefore all the schools Lord every hidden agenda against schools Father let them backfire let them be cancelled right now we cancel them for it is written we have been given authority to travel on Satan and Scorpion and to overcome the paths of darkness and not to travel by enemies almost every hidden agenda concerning our children in Father Lord Jesus Christ, we cancel them by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. We shall not see the light of the day because our children are for signs of wonders. Our children are protected. Our children are hidden in the shadow, under the shadow of your wings. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus upon them. Thank you so much for your blood that is sweeping through the nations and having mercy on nations. Oh God, and changing our lives for better for you alone. In the name of Jesus Christ, be with us as we go to bed. Oh God, give your angel charge of our us. Oh God, Father, we apply the blood of Jesus Christ to our lintel and our doorposts as families in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The voice of joy and rejoicing can only be the one that we hear in our tabernacle in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And our walls are salvation, our gates are praise in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Nothing shall offend us because great peace are those that love your law because you help us to love your law and you continue to give us grace to love your law. Father, Lord Jesus Christ, according to your word in Psalm 119, great peace do we have. Great peace do we have because we love your law in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And nothing shall offend us and our children in Jesus' Jesus name. Our ways are, are made prosperous as we listen to your word and as we hear from you in Jesus' name. Every glory, glory stealer, in the name of Jesus, Christ, let your fire destroy their hand in Jesus' name. 
let your fire crush them into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ and shall, all their plans and programs they are demolished right now in the name of Jesus Christ and our children shall, shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in due season in Jesus name we and our children our lips shall not wither and whatsoever we do shall prosper in Jesus name thank you Jesus be thou exalted now forevermore thank you because you always hear it anytime we call upon you thank you every program of the serpent against us and our children destroyed be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost fire 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 every agenda of the evil ones against us and my household is destroyed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name because we are set free for he whom the son set free is free indeed thank you Jesus save us your people oh God save us oh God and deliver us lift us up forever feed us your inheritance and lift us up forever in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. save us oh God do wonders as you have promised because you are God of wonders all the wonders you said you will do father do wonders and help us to stand in the place of prayer in the place of worship help us to stand in the place of waiting so that we can understand what is going on in the spirit realm in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. help us not to pray in vain in the name of Jesus Christ because there are many times that we could be praying you know we just pray like that and then we just go we're doing the one thing or the other when God is looking and say you called me now you called me you told me to do this do that for you and I want to tell you how to go about it because I can't I'm not going to be doing everything for you you got stuff to take to do as well it's just that we tell God provide food for us is it God that will come and cook in the kitchen for us even if he's a if, a, if he's a white uh, I mean it's an angel that comes to the kitchen kitchen and is cooking how many of us will wait everybody will run away from the kitchen you see angel physically you say god help me to stand up to go and bath you stand up you get into the bathroom you know and then and then uh, and then you are going to only uh, when, when the person is not sick it's not it's a different ball game you are okay you want god to do something you want to you want to pass your exam you, you're not even take, getting your book at all to read and you say you want to pass and you are saying god oh i want to pass how possible we need to stay in the place of prayer. We need to also stay in the presence of God so that He can speak to us things that we are doing wrong. He can tell us, or whatever He needs us to do, He can tell us that, look, you called me. But as we have all prayed now, we are calling upon God. That's what we are doing. God, do this. God, do that. God, do this. God, do that. When we finish calling Him and He comes and He's ready to answer, where are we to listen? Father, help us to. Pa 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 um, um, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a word I'm looking for there. Lord Jesus Christ. Um, but what it simply means is that help us to wait longer in the place of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us to wait longer. Help us to wait longer in the place of prayer. Help us to wait. Help us to wait to hear you. Help us, Lord, teach us so that we can hear you in the name of Jesus. Help us to be ready to hear you as well. Help us to be ready to put things aside to come and listen to what you've got to say in, for us in Jesus' name. Help us not to be doing one way relationship with you. When we just worship, we just read the Bible, we just do everything, and then we now go with it. I finish, and you are calling us and saying, Lord, but you are finished. I want to talk, Father, in every way that we have not allowed you to speak to us. Please forgive us in Jesus' name, Father. We don't know how to go about it. We just need your help because flesh cannot serve you. It cannot just do it. So, Father, empower us and our children with the power of the Holy Spirit that we wait in the place of prayer, that we wait, that we serve you for real. Lord Jesus, that we authenticate our worship with you, that we will not just do things by mouth, that we will not just pray to you by mouth, that we will not just be telling that we love you by mouth, but actually putting it into action. Father, grant us this grace. Grant us and our children this grace in your presence, in the name of Jesus, to wait upon you, bring us closer to you, bring us and our children closer to you, to wait, in the place of waiting, in the place of waiting, where we spend more time in your presence. Father, grant us this supernatural grace that all you can give in the name of Jesus because no man can come to the Father except but by you no man can come to you except the Father draws him as well so Father Lord and you said the Father that, that, that you are in the Son that you, you are you, I mean you, you are in the Father so Father 
And the Bible says that the Father loves the Son and He's given all things into His hand. So therefore, we have to be in your presence, Lord Jesus, so that we can receive what has been given. So Father, give us this supernatural grace to just learn to wait upon you. Father, Lord Jesus, we just need your help. We just need your help. Help us, Lord. Lift us up in the Spirit. Lift us up in the Spirit. Lift us and our children up in the Spirit. Lord Jesus, remove us from the dungeon. In the name of Jesus, Christ. remove every debris. Remove everything blocking us from hearing you, from wanting to hear you, from wanting to do your will. Remove them by your fire, by your blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And we pray that evil arrow, they, re they return to sender, even as we go to bed, because we shall sleep peacefully and wake up joyfully in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, because you have answered us. Be that way, exalted now forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Psalm 20. The Lord hear us in the day of trouble. The, the name of the God of Jacob defend us. Send us up from the sanctuary and, and, and deliver us. Send, sorry, send us out of Zion. Remember all our Amen. Remember all our offerings and accept our burnt sacrifice. Grant us according to our own heart and fulfill all our counsel. We rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of our God, who will set up our banners, the Lord fulfill all our petitions. I know we that the Lord's servant is anointed. You will hear from his holy heaven. From, with the saving strength of his, hand, of his right hand, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen for the king child. Amen. Save Lord. Let the king hear us when we call. Let the king hear us when we call tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 121. We will lift up our eyes unto the hills for where is coming our help. Our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer our foot to be moved. He that keep us which are not sleep. We will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth our Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our shield upon our right hand. The sun shall not smite us, and our children by day, or the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve us from all preserve us from all evil. He shall preserve our souls. The Lord shall preserve our going out and our coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and our children now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless everyone. The Lord is going to do wonders in our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening and happy Sunday in advance to us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your 